previously on TFC Season 3. So what I would like to find in terms of crops is I want to find jute. Oh, see that there? That looks like jute. Yeah, jute. Got a much better chance of actually being able to harvest some, some of the fiber, harvest the mature jute if I just leave them in situ. Here's a, this looks like a blueberry bush. Oh, I'm getting full up. And now the exciting conclusion of I just want some friggin' jute. This looks like another uh, gooseberry. Let me add it to our collection. I'm starting to run out of room here in my inventory. Whoops. So let's throw some of these bushes in there and the sapling. And then we can add the seeds. The seeds of our destruction. No, no. Okay, now can I finally head north again? Yes, I can finally head north again. Still no pumpkins. That's a pity. Oh, that's just a wolf. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a lion. Well, a lioness, anyway. Some more bismuthonite. Oh. And this is, looks like another uh, blackberry or raspberry? Raspberry. Also add to our collection. Okay, not the most secure place for me to be standing, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, great pumpkin. Where are you? Oh, and there's the male of the species. Yeah, no, I don't want to encounter him. One of the things is I don't think the animals look up. I mean, you will see them do head movements to look up. I was going to say, but they never pursue you. But that's not true. That's not true. I can't remember which episode it was, but there was a panther that was coming after me. And it actually did. It came up. I was, you know, up a few levels above it and it did come up after me, so... So yes, they do come up. Never mind. Okay, we have horses and pigs here. Well, these pigs are closer than the other ones, I think. Oh yeah, quite a bit closer. So I'll mark them. And those are goats over there. Okay. So we have lots of stuff here. Alright, okay. And then we'll move over just a little bit. To flag the goats. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier to get these guys back once I can, once I've harvested the uh, the jute, and I'm able to make leashes. Uh, I got another fruit tree over here. That's in bloom. Are these the same sheep as before? No. So these are a closer batch of sheep too. Okay, that's nice. 
Definitely want to mark those. Woo! Spell much? There we go. Okay. Let's come up here. Oh, I hope there's another fruit tree back there. I'm guessing that this is cherry again, but let's go find out. Might be something new. Uh, it actually looks different from the cherry. So maybe this is like peach. Peach, yeah. Cool. Okay, well, I think I have uh, tortured you guys with this long enough, so... So I'm going to head back over to where the uh, jute was and see if it's now mature since it's a new day. I mean, probably not. I don't. I doubt it would spawn that close to maturity, but I don't really know. So it doesn't hurt to check. And uh, so I'll bring you back in when I get over there. See you then. Well, I've made my way back to the jute and it's still not <clears throat> not mature yet you can tell because when it's mature well it'll be taller and it'll also have little yellow flowers on the tips of it so jute's pretty easy to tell that way so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to head back home and maybe give it a week and then in a week come back and see if i can if i can harvest the jute and the, I, I'll probably be able to harvest the carrots when I get back home. They should be, yeah, they should be uh, all ready. And I'll plant these other seeds that I found along the way and the various new fruit trees that I picked up and the berry bushes and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, so I'll bring it back in once I get home. Okay, well, I'm back home now. Um, you can see, if you look carefully, these carrots here are much darker uh, orange than these ones here. And this dark orange is, is means that they're ready to harvest. So let's have a look here. I got one seed from that guy. Aha! I got two seeds. Two seeds from that one. At last, my skill... Where is it here? my being adept at agriculture finally paid off and I got an extra seed out of it. Yeah, just one. So that gives us now something, some veggies now that it can to eat. And you can see the corn's getting there. It's uh, the corn, or the maize rather, has changed. I've got one over here and I've planted the uh, jute and oops don't know what i did oh i already had green bean right and where i could i added you know like i added a few more onions to this onion patch from the ones i picked up but i have an overflow garden over here where there's more barley and onion yellow pepper and the sugar cane now the interesting thing here is so i have this beet and when i try to plant it here i can't but if you look, that that bit of crop or cropland, I guess you want I guess you can call it cropland, or you know, hoed land, doesn't look the same as those. So I'm not sure why. Let's go one deeper. Yeah, that looks normal. And I can plant it there. So I don't know what what's going on here. Andesite dirt. 
Well, we've got lots of dirt here. What if I re let's try replanting it and then hoeing it again? Okay, now it looks normal. So I wonder what the problem was. Huh. No idea. Um, and I've also gone and put in all our extra berry bushes. So the additional uh, gooseberry that I found. Here's the blueberry. And I've started up now a row of raspberries for us. And this this was cloudberry, it turned out. I thought it was another gooseberry, but it's cloudberry. And over here I've planted our trees. So the cherry tree. The, uh, you didn't see me. I did this while I was wandering, wandering back to the uh, jute. To collect the jute, uh, I found I picked up another green apple uh, that was already here, and then here's the peach that we picked up. So, uh, so that's all that stuff in place. And like I say, now we have some carrots that we can eat. I should throw some of these into a vessel so they don't rot so quickly. Take about half of them. Yeah, that blackberry expires in four days. All right, well, we'll see if see if we get any more blackberries before then. Whoops! Don't want to do that. <clears throat> is there anything in here? Oh yeah, this is the milk. Okay, what's the date? May 5th. Okay, so on May 8th, I'm going to go back and look at the, um, at the jute again. Is there anything else we can do to kill some time here? Oh yeah, the other thing, our experimental forest over here. So it's been several seasons have gone by and these other guys just haven't grown in yet so i don't think they're ever going to so let's just give it a try so we wanted to see if we could like kind of you know force a bunch of these to grow closely together so that we can harvest them all with a single chop or just by cutting down one so let's see yep see got them all So that's a time saver. <laughs> now these guys can grow up, I guess. Go see if I've got any more. Uh, I, I should have really harvested. I should have used the scythe to harvest more seeds from now, but I got tons here. Yeah. No shortage of these. So we'll come over and replant. Right. So like I say, it uh, it doesn't save you anywhere on your axe. You still pay for all of them. So there were 10 of them that came down at once there. But it certainly does save time. Don't have to stand there hacking away them all. So, okay, so I'm going to pass some time until the 8th. Yeah, I'm going to pass some time till the 8th, and then we'll see if we've actually got some jute. So I'll bring you back in then. Well, I just picked up two more blackberries, and with the two I have before, which as you can see are just about to run out, I'm going to try and make some vinegar. So I put one bucket in here. Hang on. Let's combine these guys if we can. And seal that up. So it's supposed to be one piece of fruit for every 250 millibuckets. I have a thousand millibuckets there, which means four pieces of fruit. So we'll see if that gives us vinegar or not. It bothers me that it doesn't say anything and that I've still got a question mark here, but we'll find out, I guess. And it's, it's almost the eighth. So, uh, 
tomorrow I'll go over and have a look at the uh, jute, that jute over there to see if it's finally uh, ready to harvest. Bring you back when that happens. Well, of course it's raining, it has to be. Um, but here we are on the eighth day, the last day of late spring, 8th of May, and some of the jute is ready. You can tell by the yellow tips on it. Other bits down here aren't ready yet, but at least some of it is. So let's harvest this stuff. There it is. There's our jute. How much should we get? We got three of those. Three jute. Two seeds. Let's look around a bit, see if there's any other jute plants around here. Okay, so we can come back and check on these guys again in a little while, but first let's uh, head on back to the house. I'll meet you back there. Okay, so we're back here, and we've got a barrel here. It still has some fresh water in it. And so the way we process the jute is we just stick it in a barrel of water and seal it up. And in a while we will get our jute fiber. Now I'm not going to end up I won't out of this I won't get enough jute fiber to actually make a lead out of but with the remaining jute that's back out there still we should get enough for at least one leash that'll take a couple of days though so in the meantime there's a few other things I want to do and I'll meet you inside the house Okay, first thing we want to deal with is I screwed up when I was trying to make the vinegar. I went and put the fruit into this barrel of water when I was supposed to put it into a bar barrel of alcohol. Fortunately, even though it's got zero days left, it hasn't quite gone bad yet. So let's see if I can get it in here. Yes, now we're going to get some vinegar. Whew. Okay, so that's taken care of. A um, couple other things I want to try out while we're waiting for the uh, the rest of the jute to ripen. We have some bones here. Whoops. So let's make up some bone meal. Okay, I think that's enough. And let's try seeing if we can bone meal our trees. We're supposed to be able to, so that's just flowering. And uh, nothing happens there. What about this guy? Ah! <laughs> ah, so we can speed up our trees here. Alas, I don't think it's going to help us with this cherry tree, because this is the last day of... Uh, late spring and I think late spring is when it fruits so it doesn't have enough time. Should help with the others though. And just out of interest let's see if we can use it to speed up our jute as well. No, that's too bad. Oh well. Uh, this corn here is just about ripe. There's one left to go. Uh, I'm not going to pick it yet because it'll just immediately start to decay so I'll wait until this last one is right before I pick them all. Well that was cool. Okay, let's grab our... whoops. Oh. <laughs> need an empty hand to take that out of there. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to try is I mentioned that uh, in TNG you can do stuff with the forge that you would normally require the fire pit. You just have to get up to brilliant white temperature. So now that we have a, uh, a bellows here, we should be able to do that. So let's try a few things out. Um, first thing is let's make some bowls. Screw that up. Oh, 
There we go. A couple of bowls. Put those on the Barbie. Um, next up is... Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do something here. So I have a partial unshaped copper ingot here. There's only 40 there, so I need 60 more. Uh, what's the best way of getting that? 25 and 35, but I want to use up some of these smaller guys. So let's use up a 15. I'm trying to get up, what, 65? Yeah. 15, and then five of these guys, that would be 50, 65. Right. So I'll we'll throw him on there as well. Oh, and that to warm up. And finally... Uh, this bronzing, this is going to get a little more complicated. So this uh, bronze mold, rather, has 35 units. I'd need 65 to fill it up. But the smallest cassiterite I have is 10 units. And 10 out of 65 is more than 11%. So that won't work. So the next thing I can try, it going for 165 units. So that'll give me one full ingot plus fill this one up. Um, and 10 out of 165 is too little. 25 out of 165 is too much. So then we go up to 265 and that's the magic. I think we do a 25 with 265. And that's just a little under 10%. Uh, 265. So 265 minus 25, I need 240. So that will be... Um, 8 of these gives me 200. And four of these. Gives me 40. So 240, 265. Okay. Put that in there. Unfortunately, we don't have room for our uh, ingot as well. Doesn't matter that much, but yeah, would have been nice. Okay. Get that started. Why do I have two jute seeds here? I thought I planted them all. Anyway, we'll go see. One more thing to we can get to. Okay, so we got to wait for this to warm up, and once it gets as high as it can get, then we can use the bellows to bring it up to brilliant white. So I guess in the meantime, I can plant these last two jute. Yeah, so I was looking in the uh, in the wiki, and uh, to confirm a couple of things. So, soil nutrients are not implemented yet. I don't know if they're going to. So, you can replant the same crop in the same soil. It just grew in, and it won't affect its growth. It'll grow normally because there's it's not checking for nutrients right now. And so, yes, indeed, that means that the hoe modes don't work since they would be required, or in fact, or rather with, without nutrients. I, I guess they could still serve purpose. You could still check to see if the, uh, if the crop was ready to harvest yet and if there was enough moisture in the soil. But in any regard, in any case, the, uh, they didn't implement the, uh, the hoe modes at all. 
And pumpkins, uh, the wiki says, have been removed temporarily, so I guess I can stop looking for those. Okay, yellow white, that's as high as that gets. All right, so let's pump this guy up. All right, 10 pumps. It's up to brilliant white. There, they just turned ceramic. Okay, so that worked. This copper is now liquid. So let's see what happens there. Uh, oh, I must miscalculate it. Well, that's a bummer. Well, anyways, it proved that it worked. Um, we've got some bronze here, so let's try that out. Let's see if I miscalculate there as well. No, nope, him I got right. Except I do need two more of these molds. Not that I have a lot of use for bronze. I can make some lesser tools <clears throat> out of bronze. Like if I ever wear out my hoe, a bronze hoe will last forever. Okay, so that works nicely. Um, so there's a thing you can make called a grill, a wrought iron grill, and if you put it on your cooking fire, then foods that you cook there will last a little bit longer than if you cook them without a grill. Uh, you'll take them longer to decay. So we want to give that a try as well. Um, so I'm going to need a single double sheet. Right, so I can use these two ingots to make a double ingot. From the double ingot, I'll make a second sheet, and then I can weld the two sheets together. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to take a little while for these guys to warm up. I'll bring you back. Okay, these uh, guys are up to heat now. So let's uh, grab those two out. Put them in the anvil. Get outside. Oh, yeah, I have to uh, put the anvil in my hand. Oh, no, I have to shift. Okay. I guess I have to have the anvil in my hand. And shift, yeah, okay. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that. Oh, and then I need to turn this guy into a wrought iron sheet, which is hit, hit, hit. Okay. him over here get him up to welding temperature there we go that should give me enough time and now iron bars wrought iron grill there we go and that is punch punch and draw Anyway, let's go throw this on here. Well, actually, maybe I just, do I just apply it like this? Yeah, there we go. Oh, and it gives me more slots too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. All right, so we'll put that to use eventually. Next time we kill some, kill a deer or <laughs> kill something else maybe. Okay, all right, I think that's, all of the side uh, side shows that I had and it's still I want to wait at least until June 2nd before going back and checking the uh, the wild jute so I guess I'm pretty much just gonna cool my heels until the corn is ready. All right, I'll bring you back in. Okay, the last of the corn finally, uh, finally uh, matured and is ready for harvest. If you look in here, we're like midway through June 2nd. 
So let's see how we do. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We harvested six and we got seven seeds. That's not too bad. Since there's no nutrition, we can just plant them back in the same space they came out of. But I need to hoe one more spot. Okay. Um, gives us 19 grain. I'm going to just stuff those away in a vessel for now. in a chest and hope they keep for a little while. And uh, while I was waiting, I built a pen, a second pen, this one for the sheep up here. So uh, it's going to take a while to uh, make my way over to the uh, where the jute is that we want to check on, the wild jute. And then it'll be dark again when that happens. So instead, I'm just going to wait until morning and head over then. So I will bring you back when that's ready to happen. See you then. So I was been wandering around. I keep checking back every now and then to see if that other Jude over there is uh, ripe or not. But so I wandered around looking for other things. I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. But here I finally found some more ripe Jude. So I can grab this. Oh, that's nice. And a few more plants here. I don't know if any of the others are ripe yet. Ripe or not. No, that one isn't. And that one over there. <gasps> okay, it wasn't that big of a hole. <laughs> and this one over here isn't. So I've got a bit more jute. I now have enough jute I could go back and make one lead. Um, but I'm going to want to lead back at least two sheep, a male and a female. So I'm going to keep just kind of bouncing around out here until I have enough to make a second lead as well. Uh, it takes five, five of them to make a lead. So I will get back to you when there is more jute to be collected. Well, it's, uh, what day is it now? It's the 5th of June, and these still haven't haven't gotten to the point where I can harvest them. However, I did run into some more uh, harvestable jute along the way, and if we have a look, I got nine of these here. So, including the four I've got back home, 14, that's enough to do two leads. So, through the magic of video editing, I'm going to teleport back home, and uh, we can get on with this... Uh, processing this jute. See you back there. Well, I'm back home and fortunately the rain has stopped. Uh, if we look in our water barrel here, this jute fiber was ready days ago. Um, so we can take that out and put more jute in. And there's not a lot we can do with that right now. So it, it doesn't take too long for the jute. Like it's it's a day or less. So won't be too long for that to happen. Um, is there anything else before I skip ahead in time again? Um, well, I picked up along the way a lot more seeds, some more sugar cane and red bell pepper and some oats and more soybeans and garlic, maize, barley and rye are some new grains. Well, actually, no, barley I already have, don't I? Yeah. But the rye is new. And of course, some more jute seeds. So I'm going to try and see if I can find room for some of these to throw them in the ground. I've created a bit more new ground over here so I can start planting it, but I want to let the... Uh... Oh, actually, I already figured out that I don't need to wait for it, do I? Because there's no nutrition stuff, so yeah, I can just use it right away. Okay, so I'll plant all that stuff over here. And I will get back to you when, uh, when we're ready to make our lead. Okay, so the rest of our jute fiber is now ready. Unseal the barrel, grab the stuff out of there. 
And let's go inside and make ourselves a couple of leads. Ta-da! And we got two jute fiber left over. And let's just run over to our senile goats. You senile old goat. To demonstrate their usage. There we go. Yeah, this is better for getting them to follow you. Whoops. Okay, almost lost it. There we go. Okay. So I think next episode then we'll be going and re getting the sheep and bringing them back to put in their pen. And we have all that corn, or maize rather, and so we should be able to breed them with that. We have 19 maize, I think, so that should be plenty. And we've got other stuff coming in as well, other grains, although they will take a little while. And I picked up a few grain, where are we here? Yeah, you can see I have six times oat in there and nine times barley. So I actually found some ripe grain out there, so I could use that as well. So that should be enough to get us there with the uh, sheep at, at any rate. And at last we'll have a bed. Oh, can't tell if that carrot is ready yet or not. I don't think so. All right. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And you can come back next time and maybe we'll finally get to make a bed. See you then.